Hello everyone, I'm Clayton Lucas. Welcome to another episode of The Quick Set. Oh my days, have we got a lot to talk about. The quarter-final round of the 2022 FIVB Men's Volleyball World Championship got underway yesterday in Ljubljana, with Italy and the co-host Slovenia getting the wins to advance to the semi-finals on Saturday. The other two spots will be contested today when Brazil take on Argentina and USA face the other co-host for the championship, Poland. So, the first major headline of the day, the elimination of the current Volleyball Nations League and reigning Olympic champions France at the hands of Italy. What a game that was! The last time the two teams met was at the semi-final stage of the 2022 Volleyball Nations League, France winning that one in straight sets. Italy, however, managed to turn things around in Ljubljana as Ferdinando de Giorgi's team got on with the business of winning. Opposite, Yuri Romano, who has taken over from Ivan Zaitsev as Italy's number one opposite, led the way with 22 points, including four aces. Wing spiker Daniele Lavia amassed 12 points, and 14 points went the way of Alessandro Micheletto. With that victory, Italy will face Slovenia in the semi-finals on Saturday in Katowice. And that brings us to our other major headline, Slovenia in the semi-finals of a world championship for the very first time. Their victory last night against Ukraine, witnessed by more than 11,000 fans, is historic. Slovenia have always been a good team that can mix it with the best. They've been to the last two European Championship finals, losing to Serbia 3-1 in 2019, and they lost again to Italy in 2021 3-2. That means we're in store for a rematch of that Euro Volley final, and Slovenia will not be in any mood to let Italy get the better of them again. Whilst it wasn't to be Ukraine's night against Slovenia, congratulations go out to Ole Plotnitsky on his performance. He becomes the fourth player in this World Championship to score at least 30 points, joining Nimir Abdelaziz of the Netherlands, Turkey's Adis Legumja and Yuji Nishida of Japan. Now it's time to talk about the other two quarterfinal matches that will be taking place in Glavica later on today. And it all starts with the South American derby, Brazil versus Argentina. The last time these two teams faced each other was at the Tokyo Olympics last year in the bronze medal match. Argentina broke Brazilian hearts when they won that one in five sets, giving Argentina their second ever Olympic volleyball medal after the bronze that they won in Seoul in 1988, and in the process denying Brazil of a medal for the first time since 2000. If you're looking for players to watch for this match, it has to be Argentinian setting legend Luciano De Checo. The ability he has to find his players with such apparent ease is at times magical to watch, as is his ability to be creative under pressure. Another player that can have a huge influence on this match is Brazil setter, not Bruno, but Cachopa, Fernando Kreling. He has been given his opportunity to shine at this World Championship and he is doing exactly that, getting his teammates free nets, running Brazil's quick offense to perfection. As for the last match of the day, well, you don't want to miss this one. You don't want to miss the other one either, but you definitely don't want to miss this one because it's the USA taking on the other co-host, Poland, in front of what should be a capacity crowd. For those of you that have been following the World Championship, you'll no doubt be aware that Poland and the USA were in the same pool. And on that occasion, Poland got the win 3-1 against a USA side who were playing without Michael Christensen. Players to watch from Poland are the usual suspects, opposite Bartosz Kurek, outside hitters Kamil Semenyuk and Aleksandr Szlivka, as well as the incredible Mateusz Bieniak and Jakub Kowanowski through the middle. And while we're at it, Libero Pavel Zatowski's not bad either. As for the USA, they're also loaded with stars. Aaron Russell, TJ DeFalco, Matt Anderson, David Smith and Eric Shoji. And having Christensen back and fully fit is going to make this match a far cry from the pool game. In front of a sellout crowd, this will surely feel like a final for both teams. You can watch all the matches live and on demand on Volleyball TV. I'm Clayton Lucas. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with you again tomorrow with more from the Quick Set as we recap on tonight's matches and we preview the semi-finals.